Now, you Thank all you. know that queens don't have to worry about money, but most people, most of us, have to make some basic financial decisions in our lives. Sometimes it all boils down to one simple question. Worth it? Not worth it. And that just happens to be the title of a new book by Jack Otter, who's managing editor of CBS Money Watch, and he's with us this morning. Nice to have you here. Great to be here. Um, this book is great. Yes. I love yes. it. Every page, it's easy. So let's go through some of the best points in this, which for so many people, especially now given the housing market, you look at where am I going to live and you say, should I buy, should I rent, especially because mortgage rates are so low. Sure. Well, I come down the side of buying, but not actually because of the economics, because of the behavioral aspect of it. A house is a piggy bank that you can live in. You would actually be better off in most cases if you rented your whole life and put every cent you save into bonds, stocks, invested wisely 30 years from now, you'd be rich. But most people won't do that. They'll buy a new and they'll go out to dinner and they'll buy a nice car and in 30 years they'll have no house and the same amount of money. So that is the best single reason to buy. Of course, you're buying a depressed asset for less than 4% of other people's money. So right now is a particularly good time to buy. I just want to say, Jack Otter, where have you been all my life? <laughs> because what you say in this book is it's, it's, there are right and wrong answers. And after I read your book, I've done a lot of wrong things. Well, we Am can I the only one that says those. this to you? My father actually what said it to me. Say? He was angry at me. He said, why didn't you give this to me when I was 25? No, that's what I'm thinking, too. <laughs> so the question about credit or debit, sure. because I always thought, of course, debit, because it comes out right away. Absolutely. And if people listen to nothing else I say, it is that if you are in deep credit card debt, cut up those cards, only use debit. But, but if you can pay it off every month, as you should, then there are a lot of protections of a credit card. For instance, with a debit card, if you buy 30 bucks worth of gas, the gas station might actually put what's called a hold on $80 worth until they reconcile the books and realize you drive a Prius and not a pickup truck. Mm -hmm. If you check into a hotel, they might put mini bar charges and so forth. They're not actually taking your money. They're just putting a hold on it. Yeah. And you could overdraft yes. in the meantime, and then they reconcile the books and they don't charge you Quick for question, it. Quick question, because for a lot of people, their debit card also doubles as a, as a credit card. and yes. has that seal on it, Visa or MasterCard. Is it also better to, to choose it as a credit card? when you could choose either one because you have more protection in terms of if somebody steals your money? You know, I wouldn't mess around with that. I okay. would get a separate credit card. Uh, again, if you don't carry a balance, get airline miles, get cash back or something like that. Only use your debit as a debit. Okay. So that's that. What about cars? You mentioned, you know, if we saved our money, we could buy a new car. <laughs> sure. My you dad was old. a car dealer, full disclosure, and as a car dealer, he said, never, ever, 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 ever <laughs> buy a new car. Look, I love the new, the, you, the new car smell as much as anybody, but the fact it is... It is a nice smell. In the first two mm. years of ownership, that value plummets. The, that's where you really take the hit. It's called depreciation. So if you can let someone else take that depreciation, depreciation buy a nice pre-owned certified car from a dealer like a your dad, car. Um, you're much better off. Now, right now, there's a funny anomaly where during the downturn, not that many people bought cars. Yep. There are fewer used cars, and therefore the price differential is pretty close, mm -hmm. so you're not going to save as much. I do say, don't lease, whatever you do. And I bet your dad would tell you this if no one was listening. <laughs> Better to buy than lease. He probably and, would have. And when it, that's true. And when it says savings, whether you save for your own retirement or your kid's college education. I always said college education. Oh, uh, I thought retirement. I've got two children. I can't imagine not saving for their, their, for their college education, but follow the flight attendants advice. Put your own oxygen mask on first. first, so save for retirement. Um, there are lots of ways to get loans for college. It's not easy, but you can do it. There's no such thing as a loan for retirement. And one of my favorite, date the cutie in the next cubicle <laughs> versus absolutely anyone else. And you said absolutely anyone else, but you didn't do that. Well, uh, let's say I learned my lesson the first time in a small office. Wasn't a great idea to be dating someone in the next Super Bowl. When I became a more mature fellow in a larger office, I met a wonderful woman, married her, and very glad I did. Okay. And we, I was teasing you about kitchen remodel yes. or the basement, finish the basement, what to do, because everybody always thinks you should do one or the other when you're selling the house. Well, the, the main lesson I tried to impart here is that don't think of remodeling as an investment. Yeah. It's not. You're not going to get 100% back. Remodel your kitchen because you want a new kitchen. Uh, when you face those two off against each other, usually you go with the basement because if you have an unfinished basement, you finish it, you've got more square footage in your house now. Mm -hmm. But obviously, if you're an iron chef, go for it. Remodel Jack Otter, nice job. I'm thinking, Eric, I smell a sequel. <laughs> I, I do too. And I'm thinking too, what a great graduation gift, nice. especially for kids yeah. getting out of That's college. That's what we're thinking. Uh, the first yeah. chapter is all about getting started, just the simple stuff. Really nice job, Jack Thank Otter. you very much. Worth It, Not Worth It is now on sale. Goes without saying, we think it's worth yes, it. Yes, we do.